Sea milk. Yeah. Why is it that we do these adventures? <sighs> it's a difficult question. I might say right now at this point in my life, it is a way to completely get away from the daily grind of life. Right. And you might think that this is my life all the time, but it's not. And most of the time I'm editing these videos. <laughs> There's a guy behind you. You're like really cutting him off with your damn swerving around. <laughs> well, I let him go. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway. I uh, had a little pep in my step, so I was moving around a little bit. Um, I do these adventures to get away from the daily grind of life because real life requires a lot of work. And this does too, but to go on an adventure, to see something new, to carve up the roads, to speak to new people, to try new foods and all this kind of stuff, is it's medicine for a long time. I could think about that adventure for a long time and be like, that was freaking awesome. You know what I mean? Yeah. What about you? The freedom. Freedom. Just for me, it's like I don't feel... Uh, I, I mean... It can be in a car too. Bikes, bikes are, are kind of better, to be honest, when For it comes sure. to at least these parts of the world. I think, I think America, a car is better. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. everything's straight and long and boring. But you know, um, it's freedom. It's there's nothing better for me, you know, to right. get out there and explore and have an adventure and see something new, right? And try try new experiences. It's just part of part of who I am, you know. I've been doing it since I was quite young, um, right? Exploring the African bush, just walking out through the bush and uh, you know that kind of thing. It's just it's built into me. But like you say, it's medicine for the soul, man. So it's pretty cool that we can share our adventures with people, and you know we do talk about a whole bunch of topics and. You know, it's usually China related, but at the same time, I hope that there's somebody who's got a nine to five job out there who can watch our videos and just kind of see what we see and, and, and be able to just have a little bit of adventure of their own. What do you think? Yeah, for sure. Especially with camera technology nowadays. Yeah. I mean, back in the day, it was hard to watch a 240p video and feel like you're there, but now I feel like it, it is like that. You're yeah. listening, you're in our helmets with us, you know? as we go around doing this kind of stuff. I feel like that is, I wish I had that back in the day when I was watching travel videos. Yeah. I wish I could watch something like this and I really hope people appreciate that too. But most of all, I mean like it is, it is for us, it's something we're doing for ourselves, but it almost seems selfish not to uh, be able to put it out there for everyone to see. Yeah, uh, I mean, look, the thing is, not everybody's in the position that they can up and go. And especially for me, most of my, younger life I, I didn't have the time it took so much time and effort to get enough time and finances to be able to do something like Agreed. this you know? same like the first real big trips that I took were once I'd established myself in China and I had enough money to to figure things out you know right whereas uh, you know like in South Africa I was a nine to fiver you know and and I had this one epiphany one day and I don't know if I've talked about it but this was when I was still like a network administrator, an IT guy, and mm. I was living the usual life, the usual Western life where, you know, you work, you drive to work, you work from paycheck to paycheck, you know, you get to work, you do your thing, you have your lunch break, you go home, you kind of go out on the weekend to the bars with your friends or the clubs, and you right. know, you do that, and you pursue Rinse all these, repeat. you know, the, the usual stuff, right? You, you, you pursue your, your the hobbies and desires as much as you can with your limited budget, right? right? Right. Um, but then one day, I was driving in traffic, you know, because that's what you do when you have a 9 to 5 is you're stuck in traffic every morning. Right. So I'm sitting in traffic and I looked over to my right and I saw a guy who must have been in his 50s, I think. You know, gray hair and uh, in his suit and all that, you know. Um, in a sort of like a Toyota Camry or something, you know, like not a fancy car or anything. Uh -huh. And he looked like a decent upstanding bloke and I was horrified. I was just, I, I could see that, that that would be me. Right. If I continued with this lifestyle, that would be me. I would be that 50 year old. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but it's respectable, not for us. Respectable looking guy in his suit, right. sitting in the exact same traffic that I'm in, in a car, in a car that's kind of the same as what I'm driving, right. going to do his, whatever his job is, right. day in and day out, and that, and I, and I just thought, you know, yeah, he's probably got a car and a house and a family and everything, but I, that, that can't be me. I don't want to wake up one day and that's me, you know? Right, right. 
that's that's kind of why I did this whole China thing and stuff. It's like when it when the opportunity arose, it's because I I needed to get out there and explore, and that's it's, what this is all about, you know. It's funny you have like a pinpointed moment. Yeah, because uh, I, I do as well. Okay. And I mean, I think I've mentioned this in live streams or something, but my pinpointed moment was uh, you, you were talking about how financially prohibitive it was to take trips, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, I was in the same situation. I was in college and stuff, and I saved up for a, like a year to be able to go to Europe. And it broke me, man. Like, I had nothing left after that and before that. You know what I mean? It was it yeah. was tough to do. And that was the only thing I could ever afford to do. But I'm so glad I did because I remember as the, the trip came to an end. Yeah. Instead of me being like, okay, time to go back to reality. It's kind of like you're in the car moment where you looked over. I was on a train in Finland. I was watching the forest go by. And I was just like sitting there thinking to myself, in two days, I'm going home. Yeah. And I, nothing changed. Like, I changed. But nothing about my life. My job was the same. I'm gonna have to go back to the same classes in the university. I'm just gonna have to do everything the same. So it was almost like this trip was a tease. It was like, oh, I could do this, but now I'm gonna have to wait five more years to have a little trip again, right? Yeah, yeah. So it was like a eureka moment where I was like, I can't do that. I can't do that. And thus I didn't. I think that's why, like, you know, you and I are probably such close friends that we have a very similar mentality. Like. You don't want to be like, you don't want to be stuck in that system, right? No. You don't want to be poor, you don't want to be unsuccessful, but you don't want to be stuck in that grind. No, you don't. I fully agree you don't want so to that's do why, that. Yeah, that's why I love and appreciate what we do, you know? Yeah, you know, uh, it's huge risk though. Um, and the lifestyle that we've cho chosen is a huge risk. You and I rely on the support and the love of our, our patrons and our subscribers right. and what. That's what keeps us going. Right. And luckily we have that support because they, they want to share in our adventures and share in our, our lifestyles. But uh, most people, that's just an unacceptable risk. You know, most people can't let that go because stability is, is of course, something that most humans strive for, you know. Like right. it's, it's one of the things that I'm most upset about in my life is that I don't have a stable situation. Sure. Living in China, any minute my visa could be cancelled. Right, I, right. I come from a broken country that I can't go back to. Right. You know, um, it's it's not nice. So for most people, they just they can't take that risk or that leap, and I don't fault them for that. No. But the nice thing is, is that we can still share our experiences with them, and uh, also show them how easy it is to do something like what we're doing right now. Remember, that's kind of one of the things we're covering on this whole trip of ours is showing people how, yeah, come here for a couple of weeks or a week and get a bike like a scooter, like a Cygnus, like you're getting down with I'm over there. I'm getting down with it. And oh, wow. go for these, look at these beautiful roads. We're, we're heading into the mountains. It's going to start getting gorgeous, you know? Right. And look, you just look around at all this exotic stuff. There's a big temple gate or a village gate over there, you know? Right. Right. With the lions and the stones and the weird stuff. It's and stuff we don't even pay attention to anymore <laughs> because we've seen it so much, but you will appreciate it. Absolutely. Like everything around us is exotic. There's not a single word of English anywhere. No. Nope. You know? No. Nope. It's just awesome. Yeah. And uh, it's it's something that I hope, I hope that all of our subscribers will get a chance to try, try and do something like what we're doing. Right. You know? It can only make the world a better place as well. Yeah, because I, people get caught. I feel like people get caught up in news stories and all this kind of stuff instead of actually just saying, you know what, this doesn't affect me directly. And if I was to go talk to another human from a different background, I might have a different perspective. Yeah, right. You, you know what I want us to do? You know, we've got a website, right? We've got ADDChina.net. Right. I want us to put up a little fact, like a little FAQ, with some step-by-step -step instructions on uh, the easiest way for anyone who is feeling like doing a little adventure like this. Right. You know. We're not in it for profit. We're not trying to ask for money or anything, but I want a little step-by-step -step FAQ on how you could actually come here, get a bike and go for a ride like, like we are now. Right. What Agreed. do you reckon? I kind of fully agree. And I think that information should be free for all. Yeah. And it's, this is something that I just kind of want to give back to all of the people that have uh, supported us. Right. Cause it so took us a while to figure this kind of stuff out and you guys should be able to enjoy it just like we have for being such awesome, loyal subscribers. Absolutely. Yeah, man. So, like, I'm kind of glad we talked about that. I just wanted to get that out there and say a massive thank you to everyone. Is there right. anything you'd like to tell our subscribers before we sign off? I can't... I mean, whether you have the means or not, I can't stress enough how important it is for people to open up their mind a little bit to get out there and, and, and see something else. Something different from that grind that you might be used to, right? And I, I almost promise you'll enjoy it. 
and it might not be easy but it will be memorable and that, I think that's a very important thing a very very important thing right for sure um following Dafa look at that yeah, yeah, yeah um that's really funny anyway um we are about to go enjoy something absolutely gorgeous. It's going to be amazing. Yeah. We're all going to look at Falun Dafa propaganda. Let's the way. not look at that shit. We don't want to even mention that. We're going to make no, that out. No, um, but it was on camera. But either way, we're going to enjoy these carving up these mountains. It's going to be freaking fantastic. That crisp mountain there. I can't wait to get up there. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy it with us too. And so thank absolutely. you for subscribing. And if you haven't, please do that. And uh, yeah, check out the website. We're going to have a fact up there for you. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. So guys, check you later. Uh, and whether you are an adventurous type who who would actually take our advice and come out here and do it or someone who will just you know vicariously live through our videos we absolutely love you all the same guys so until next time you know the drill as always stay awesome whoa, whoa, whoa. catch an adv china every single monday at 1 p.m est click here for another one right here you can see a loudy six video every single wednesday at 1 p.m est and the same time, 1 p.m. EST, but on Friday, you can watch a Serpents at A video.